Мы будем стремиться к демилитаризации и денацификации Украины. Денацификации Украины. Денацификации Украины. It has already become obvious that with these words, the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, meant genocide of the Ukrainian people and planned the destruction of the Ukrainian nation. According to the UN definition, the main acts of genocide are First, mass killings. In the cities of Bucha, Irpin, Borodyanka, Hostomel, Vorzal, Trostanets, and others which were occupied by Russian soldiers, almost all the civilians were killed. Before the mass executions, elder people, women and even children had their hands tied. In Mariupol, the theater where around 1,300 women and children were hiding was bombed. Two enormous words that said children were clearly seen by the Russian invaders. That's exactly why bombs were dropped there. So far, 5,000 civilians became victims of the Russian army in Ukraine, including more than 200 children. But the real numbers are 10 times bigger. Every day mass graves fully filled with bodies of civilians are found on the liberated territories from the Russian invaders. Besides, the Russian punishers use mobile crematoriums, which they brought with them beforehand, to hide the fact of genocide. Act 2. The causing of serious physical and psychological damage. In occupied cities, Russian soldiers arrange special torturing places where they starve and freeze, beat up and maim civilians. In Bucha, they cut out chicks. In Irpin, they burn swastikas on bodies. They purposely killed parents in front of their children raping women and girls in front of their relatives is especially popular. Facts like this are registered throughout all the territory that was or is under control of the Russian occupiers, from the Kyiv region to Mariupol and Kherson. Act 3. Birth Prevention In Mariupol, Russian soldiers precisely bombed a maternity home. In Irpin, they shot women and girls and then ran tanks over their bodies. On the highway to Zhytomyr, they burned girls from nearby villages. The girls' reproductive organs were purposely injured. According to the words of eyewitnesses, the raping of women was followed by the words Now Russian children will be born. And murders so that Ukrainians won't be born no more. Act 4. Kidnapping of children In cities that are controlled by the Russian army, children are taken away from their parents. Orphanages, boarding schools and pediatric hospitals are captured. Thousands of minors are being taken in an unknown direction. Act 5. Forced relocation more than half a million Ukrainians were already deported to Russia. 131,000 of children are among them. Just from Mariupol, 98,000 civilians were forcefully relocated to uninhabitable regions of Siberia and Sakhalin. Forced migrants have their passports taken away and are being placed into filtration camps. Moreover, on the temporarily occupied territories, Russian troops kill Ukrainians for using the Ukrainian language. They purposefully ruin historical objects and Ukrainian cultural heritage. And they also destroy Ukrainian history books. The list of the crimes of the Russian Federation in Ukraine can keep on going, but this won't change the fact that in the 21st century, in the middle of Europe, an outrageous act of genocide took place when Russia decided to completely erase the Ukrainian nation. 
The question is, what will we, the European people, do with all this? Watch as our high-level bureaucrats devastatingly shake their heads? And eventually Russia will still veto any resolution at the UN? Stop sitting in silence. The evil must be punished once and for all. Make your government force out Russia from international organizations. And make Vladimir Putin and his war criminals be held responsible in line with the law.